Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a subject that I'm very passionate about and that is skincare. Are you, are you done, Nala? Are you done? So I'm going to take you through all the products that I use day and night and show you exactly how I apply all of them and just talk a little bit about them and why I like them. So if this is a video that you are interested in, just keep on watching. I'm actually going to start by talking about my nighttime routine because my daytime is very similar. I just add SPF to the nighttime routine if that makes sense. The first thing I do when I get home is I take off all of my makeup. These are hands down my favorite makeup removing wipes. They are by Neutrogena. I've tried so many of them and nothing really gets everything off the way that these do. So I buy them by the bulk at Costco. Like you can get I think a pack of like five or six and it's a lot cheaper that way. But I basically use this to take all of my makeup off including my uh, mascara, my eyeliner. I don't really use waterproof makeup, so I think that's why I can get away with this. There was a point in my life where I did use waterproof mascara, and I would keep a little thing of olive oil next to my sink, and I would use that to remove all of that, and that would literally take all of my makeup off. So after I take off my makeup, I like to go in and use a face wash. This is a really hydrating face wash. It's by Shiseido, part of their Brightening line, and let me tell you guys, this definitely brightens your skin. I see it instantly every time that I use this. The reason that I actually got this one is because it films really nicely with my Clarisonic, which I use twice a week. A lot of really hydrating cleansers are more like balms and they don't really foam. And this is a Clarisonic that I like to use. Again, I only use it twice a week. I think it would dry out your skin too much if you do have dry skin like I do, if you use it more than that. And I use a cashmere head. On the days that I don't use a Clarisonic, I'll just take this and it foams up really nicely in between my fingers as well. After I cleanse my face, I have to use a toner, and this is my absolute favorite toner. This is my second time repurchasing it. It's by Chanel. It's the Lotion Comfort. It's made for dry skin, so it doesn't have any alcohol in it. It's not going to over dry your skin, and I use um, cotton rods, cotton rounds, just these regular old cotton rounds. I'll soak my cotton round and I will apply that all over my skin. And I love this toner specifically because it does have to do a really good job of getting rid of any excess makeup that's left over from the face wash or the makeup removing wipe. Cause you know, especially mascara and eyeliner can be so stubborn and you can always have just a little bit left over that you don't even notice until the next day when you wake up with raccoon eyes. You'll see that it'll get rid of any leftover traces of mascara, foundation, anything that's left over to your face is left super super clean after a toner I like to go in with a serum and this is actually a hybrid of a serum and an essence it's the sk2 essence I've talked about this before I'll just take a pump in my hand all I need is just one pump and then just gently pat the serum into my skin you don't want to use rubbing motion because you'll run into the risk of irritating your skin and then I always like to wait at least 30 seconds for it to dry I don't want to apply any products until that's completely dry because otherwise it doesn't have time to penetrate my skin. I'm not going to lie, it's very pricey, but I saw an instant change in my skin, which is why I went out and purchased the Big Daddy. One of the biggest difference that I saw was a decrease in my smile lines. Even my husband noticed the difference that I did have very pronounced smile lines. I mean, they're still there, obviously. There's no miracle product that's going to make your fine lines disappear. They diminish substantially. Another thing that I also noticed with this is that the surface of my skin is so smooth. It has an ingredient called Patera in it. That also helps with anti-aging. It helps turn over your cells a lot quicker, which is what keeps your skin looking nice and young. If you guys watch my Q&A video, it's no secret how old I am. I'm 28. I'm going to be 29 this year. And every time I go to a makeup counter, the ladies that work there, they never believe that I'm in my late 20s. I baby my skin a lot. I did invest in an anti-aging eye cream, which is the next thing that I apply in my skincare. Skin Medica eye cream. This is pharmaceutical grade eye cream. I can't really comment too much on it because I've only been using it for about three weeks to a month. I will say that it's very hydrating, but this eye cream is supposed to help diminish fine lines around your eyes. So I'll just take a little bit of the eye cream, put it on my ring finger, rub my fingers together, and then gently pat it underneath my eye. I like to bring it kind of like up into the inner corner of my eye, all the way up to my eyebrows. You guys can see what I'm doing, the circular motions, and this really helps get the circulation going around my eyes. I've tried so many other high-end eye creams. I'm thinking of maybe doing like an empties 
type of video of skincare and talk about items that didn't work out for me. Like I've tried the La Mer eye cream. I've, I've tried the high-end um, Chanel line, like their prestige skincare line. I still preferred my Bobbi Brown Extra Repair eye cream over those. And I always make sure to do my eye cream first because I don't want to accidentally get any of my face cream in my eye area because then it kind of defeats the purpose of having an eye cream. After that, I'll go in with my face cream and this is the one I'm currently using and I am loving it. It's by Shiseido. It's the Bio Performance. It's very hydrating. I wear this day and night. So once I've applied everything, I never neglect my eyelashes. I started using castor oil. I get this from Amazon. My eyelashes are so much longer. You can just tell by looking at my bottom lashes how long they are. I'm, I'm wearing falsies on the top, but I'm not wearing any falsies on my, on my bottom lashes and I've noticed a huge difference. I also use this on my eyebrows and my eyelashes to make them longer. For lip balm, I've been loving this one by Anna Sui. It's very hydrating. I kind of wanted to try like a different treatment, so if you guys have any recommendations for overnight lip treatments, let me know in the comments because I love lip, lip treatments. I also wanted to share with you guys on days that my skin is feeling particularly dry and my moisturizers aren't enough, I love adding a drop of this Tarte Maracuya oil Olive oil also works really great to add some extra hydration to your skin. It actually works better than coconut oil, believe it or not. I actually find coconut oil more as a pampering thing because I love the way it smells, but if I'm looking for true hydration, I'll go for extra virgin olive oil or this maracuya oil over coconut oil. And to exfoliate my skin, I have been really enjoying this one by Natural Dermis. They sent me their entire skincare line, but this is the only product that I liked out of their skincare line. I didn't feel like the other ones were appropriate for my particular skin type. I exfoliate my skin about once a week. Even if you're using a Clarisonic, you should still be using a separate product to exfoliate your skin at least once a week. You can make your own with um, oatmeal and a little bit of honey and olive oil. That'll exfoliate your skin. Basically, you just want to get rid of all of the dead skin cells. They're just kind of like sitting on top of your skin and not allowing the, all the products to do their job. I always bring every product that I can down into my neckline and whatever is left over, I will rub it into my hands. The only thing that changes during the daytime is no Clarisonic, no makeup wipes, and I add SPF. Just keep in mind that just because these products work for me, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you. The good thing is that most of these products you can find at Sephora and you can get a sample before you actually invest your money into them. If you wanna start taking skincare seriously, I'm by no means saying you have to go out and get a bunch of high-end skincare items. You can start with a drugstore item, start with an eye cream and a really hydrating moisturizer. Cetaphil is awesome. I use Cetaphil for for my entire body. When I was younger and I couldn't afford luxurious face cream or eye cream, I would get Vaseline and I would mix it in with olive oil and I would slather that all over my skin at night and in the morning my face would wake up feeling like super moisturized. My last tip should have gone first but <laughs> it's the most cliche out of all of them is drink lots of water. One cup of these does not qualify as lots of water. I maybe drink like 10 of these cups. I challenge you, start increasing your water intake and I promise you, you will see a huge difference in your skin. Those are all my tips that I have to give you guys. I will see you guys in my next beauty video. Remember, you can always come back on Sundays for my lifestyle Sunday videos where I do more like routine videos, DIYs, cooking videos, fun videos like that. And you can always come back during the week for beauty videos like this where we just kind of chill out and talk and do makeup tutorials. <laughs> all right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah. Bye.